Hello and welcome to Miss McKay's Art Corner. Sitting in the corner of my child's room, I wanted to show you a few things this morning. One is all the variety of books that I have or that my son has on his shelf that we just love so much. Now here are a few things that we just absolutely love. One is books about a particular character. And this one's a bad character. He's always in trouble. And we're several in this series. Pig the Stinker. Pig the Star. Pig the Pug, the original one. And I think I even have Pig the Pug Finds His Style and Pig the Elf. But no matter which one of these pig books you pick up, he's in trouble always. He's always in trouble. And Trevor who's always an angel, and Pug, who's always in trouble. So we have books that are funny, like our Pig the Pug series. We have books that are educational, like this one, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? It teaches you the colors, Brown Bear, Yellow Duck, you know, Blue Horse, and it's pretty run ragged in our house. We are working on our colors using this book. So there's kind of some educational books. And then there's books that are just silly altogether. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. <laughs> Miss McKay does not want to swallow a frog. Now, I'm from South Louisiana, and frog legs are a delicacy that people eat. But I, I, I don't eat frog legs, and I don't want to swallow a frog. So we're going to put that one back. But let me show you the series that my child and I really love. And it's called Little Blue Truck. And what it is, it's about a character named Blue, who's a blue truck, and all his farm animals. Now, there are several in this series. There's Little Blue Truck, the original. There's Little Blue Truck Leads the Way, where Blue goes into the city. There's Little Blue Truck Beeps Along, which has this plush toy in the middle. And then there's Little Blue Truck Springtime, that looks like this one, and it's about springtime. Well, let's go here to this original one. Now, you can Google the story if you want to hear it read, because my lesson is really about the artwork related to this book. So let's look here. When you open up Little Blue Truck, or any of the Little Blue Truck series, you have these beautiful pictures of farm. Now, the words are written by an author. So that means someone sits at home and writes those words, and they are the author behind the words. But there is an illustrator or a person who draws or creates the artwork that is called the illustrations. So what we are going to do, and both are printed on the front, on every book, um, if you have a librarian or go to library in your school, you'll know about this. The author is there, and then also the illustrator is named on the front of the book and on the title page of the book. So let's talk about this. This is Little Blue Truck. And we want to look at how this picture, how these pictures were created. Look at this. There's the sky and the land. If you look at the next page, sky and land. Let's look at the other one, springtime. Sky, oh, blue sky and green land. Now, in order for you to try to become an illustrator and make children's books, one of the techniques that you might need to learn how to draw is what's called a horizon line. That's that line, it's called a horizon line, that divides the sky from the land. It's actually the line where they meet together, where the sky meets the land. So let's see if we can look here and see this again. All right, here's another one. Oh, look, you see sky and then you see land. Now they have some details in the middle, but it's sky and land. Let's see if we can see another one. How about that? Oh, here we go. Another page along. Sky. See the sky? See the sky? And then there's land. Now there's a bunch of little details in the middle. Let's go back to our original one and see if we can see it even clearer. Oh, look. Sky, not blue. It's kind of orangey. But then the land. Sky, then land. Oh, here's another one. Sky, then land. Sky, then land. That's called a horizon line. Do you have any books at home that have a horizon line where it's sky and then land and where they meet there is a line? Hmm. Why don't you think about looking through your books and seeing if there's one? 
I do want to show you some other books that I have that have sky plus land horizon lines. This one is a favorite in our household too. Good night, good night construction site. And in here, even though it's a nighttime sky, you still have the sky on this side. You have the sky and then the land. And it's really clear. Sky and land. And where they meet in the middle is called the horizon line. Now, if I take up another book I found, this one's Bruce's Big Move. Well, guess what? Look, you can see sky and land. So let's see. Oh, here they are playing. And look, sky, sky, and land. All right, sorry, my lighting's a little bad. So let's look at this side. Sky, then land, right there. So let's talk about, hmm, how can we create our own sky and then the land with that line in the middle? So we're going to need some supplies. Do you have a piece of paper, a pencil, even a crayon or a marker will work? And that's all you really need to do to start this project. So let's see. Oh, here, I found some supplies. I found a pack of markers and I found some white paper, just white paper. Now, you don't have to have completely clear white paper. Look at this one. This one's got words on it. You can still use the back. So if you need to use old pieces of paper and reuse them, you can do that too because art is not picky at all. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of paper. And remember I told you it was a line? It was a line. So what if I do this and I draw a line like this? Miss McKay, that's a wrong kind of line. There's no sky and then land on here. So what I did is I drew what's called a vertical line. So I did draw a line, but I drew it wrong. So it needs to be horizontal. And guess what? The cool thing is, is the word horizon line, those two words, the horizon line, actually tell you how to do it. First, it has the word line, so we're on the right track. But the word horizon 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 oh that sounds like horizontal doesn't it i think so so instead of drawing it vertical we need to draw it horizontal so i did this one on a small sheet of paper so let's see what it looks like on the landscape version so you can really see what i'm talking about let's see oh here it is, and I got it divided up for you. Sky, land, and there's the horizon line in the middle. And so a simple line straight through, and then putting blue on top and green on bottom makes you that definition where it looks like it's divided up. It's not just flat. It's got some depth to it. Sky, and then land. Hmm, I wonder if you could take your piece of paper or your pen and your pencil and you can draw a horizon line. Let's try to draw it together. I'm going to grab my markers. I'm going to take a green marker this time. And I'm going to draw a horizon line. There. There's my line. And then everything below this will be green. Everything above this will be sky. So when I say line, it doesn't have to be a straight line. It can be a hill kind of line. It can be a zigzaggy line. It can be a mountain line. It can be any kind of line. It just has to be a line and where the sky and the land are going to meet. So let's see some examples of this. I have, hmm, oh, let's go back to this one for a second. Once you have the basic line, now you have to add some details. So like this one, I did very simple. I did the sky and the land with the horizon line, but I put a sun in the center and I made it like a sunset. So all kinds of different colors in the sky. So if you wanted to do that, you can. It can be very simple like this one. So all I did was take a piece of paper and draw one center line, a horizon line, colored the sky different colors, 
and colored the grass. And then I took some black so you could kind of see exactly what I was doing um, on the screen. Now, here's another way to do it. It doesn't have to be land. It can be a horizon line on the water. So it can be sky plus water and there's a horizon line. And this horizon line is a little bit jiggy like the waves. So you can even do it like this if you want to create a horizon line. And then let's see, oh, you can do it like our book, Little Blue Truck. It can be with all kinds of details, like a house and a fence and some flowers, even a tree, some clouds, even some details in the, on the roof and a um, bark on the tree. And then you can start coloring it. You see how I started with the blue and the green. So it can be like this, but that horizon line is still there. Where the land and the sky meet is the horizon line. And then last but not least, I did it again, but I made it with this silly picture of my dog. Now some of y'all might be thinking that is the worst drawing of a dog I've ever seen, but my dog actually does look kind of like this. She looks forlorn, that means a funny look on her face, and she's chubby chubby and she's got these kind of extra pieces that just kind of float around. It's called her fat. So here she is, and I did this line way over here, and Soxy is her name, really big. So you can add some depth of space with a horizon line too. So way back here in the distance is her doghouse. And way up here in the foreground, what we call that, is a Soxie. Now she's not a monster compared to her doghouse. It just makes it look like she's, far, she's up close and her doghouse is far away. But pay attention, here's the sky, here's the land, and there's our line. Now... A couple of things you can do. I can draw a pretty straight line just with my hands if you wanted a straight line like this one. I just freehanded it. But if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler too. If you don't have a ruler, you can use any kind of straight edge. You see how the side of this marker box can actually be a straight edge. And you can use that to make a straight line. You can also use the side of a book um, that can help you out. Now, why don't you at home try to draw a horizon line picture and add some details or some kind of items around it. Um, it can be like my house one right here. It can be like my simple sunset. It can be like my ship. My, it's actually not a ship. It's a little sailboat and the sky and the water creates this little horizon line. Or you can play around with depth by having something large like a dog or a cat up here and something really far in the distance like the doghouse. But you still have that line where the sky and the land meet right here. Now, so uh, with your paper, why don't you try to draw some things related to a horizon line? Now, just for fun, since we're talking about these really cool books like this one, Little Blue Truck, what I want to show you is how I took one of my drawings just like this and I folded it in half, added a couple more papers to it, and I made my own book. Now I'm the author and the illustrator. My dog, Soxy. Now, Soxy was a rescue dog, so she spelled like the ball team Sox, S-O-X, and I added the I-E for fun, so that's how she got her name. And her name is Soxy, but you see I have the horizon line where the sky meets the land. And then when you open it up, I've added words and a picture. One day, my dog Soxy wanted to see the city. There she is in her doghouse where the land and the sky meet. I have my horizon line. See sky, land, and line. And then there's the city over here. And then I wrote some words, the city was far away. Now look at Miss McKay's handwriting. My handwriting is not very nice. So don't worry about how, how neat this looks because you might not be able to print it on a computer and print. And then turn the page and there's my picture where the sky and the land meet is the horizon line. Now let's turn the page again and let's see what else I added. Oh, the city. Oh, this one's kind of tricky because it's kind of hidden. But where the sky and the land down here meets, that's actually where the horizon line is. It's straight across this picture right here. But you can kind of see it right there on the corner where the sky and the land meets. 
So it can kind of be tricky. All right, so there's my little book. So at home this week, you can make your own little book with a horizon line using where the sky and the land meets with a simple line in the center. Now, as I end today, I do want to read to you one of the little blue trunk books. Just in case you can't Google it and just you can't just in case you can't get to all of them, we can at least read one of them together. This is Little Blue Bruck Book, um, Little Blue Truck by Alice Shirtle, and it's illustrated by Jill Mecklory. Okay? Now Horn went thief, engine purred, friendliest sound I ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road. Beep said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye. When the little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said ba. Cow said moo. Oink said a piggy. Beep said blue. Girl said a lot of mice and mice. Cluck said a chicken and her chick said peep. Ma said a goat. Blue said beep. Ma said a horse. Quack said a duck. Beep said the friendly little blue truck. Honk yelled a dump truck coming through. I've got big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rode the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy-duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk cried the dump, and he sounded scared, but nobody heard or nobody cared. Then into the mud, bump, 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 came Little Blue Truck to help the dump. Little Blue pushed with all his might. Now Blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Help, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck, cried Little Blue Truck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck, and everybody pushed that Little Blue Truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed to Blue who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but gr Big Green Toad? All together, one, two, three, one last push and the trucks were free. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to Blue. You help me and they help you. Now I see a lot depends on helping hands from a few good friends. Beep, said Blue, who once arrived. Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, pluck, peep, na, croak, ma. Beep, beep, beep. Hope you enjoyed this art corner. See you next time. Enjoy Little Blue Truck and try to work on your own horizon line drawing. Thanks so much.